Rob G. in the place to be. Hey, today is Sunday, September 10th, and this is the day that we recognize that Daniel LaRusso and Lucille LaRusso, his mother, rolled into Reseda, California. This is part three of Karate Kid Season 2017. Let's walk through this for a moment. After a long journey across the country from Newark, New Jersey, all the way across the country to Reseda, California, they finally arrive. And then there's that opening scene of the movie where they pull up in that green station wagon right in front of the now iconic South Seas Apartments. Kelly and I had an opportunity back in 2013 to do a Karate Kid filming locations pilgrimage. And what you're going to see right now are some pictures uh, from the movie. And then we will uh, fade that right into our pictures standing in front of the South Sea Apartments. It's almost as if this location has just frozen in time. Hard to believe that everything, virtually everything, is still the same. Other than the rocks have been scattered out in front. Uh, you'll see the sidewalk is still the same. There's a new security gate, sign of the times, I suppose. Uh, I did hear that those uh, wooden gates were installed just for the movie. But then you can also see that the palm trees, I think one of them is missing, but the other two have grown quite significantly in the years uh, since. But uh, this is it, the front of the apartment. This is where their new life would now begin. And so they pull up into the front. Lucille is like, this is the end of the road. We made it, and uh, this is the end of the line. And Daniel, sarcastically and pretty exhausted, sitting in that passenger seat, says, you're telling me. She says, we got to unload this boat before it sinks. And they proceed to get out, and she, uh, uh, she says, look at those palm trees. You know what that means? And Daniel, in his smart aleck tone, says, yeah, watch out for fallen coconuts. And she says, wise guy, no more Newark winners. And he says, I like winners, Ma. Oh, you like frozen toes. You like sore throats. He says, I don't like smog. She says, have I told you about the pool here? About a hundred times, Ma. And open your eyes, my darling son. This is the Garden of Eden. Listen, we're in apartment 20, okay? One flight up. So then Daniel starts to unload his stuff, and he's got his bicycle up, strapped up on top, and he takes it down. He's got his suitcase. He puts it on the uh, handlebar, and he starts making his way to the entrance of the apartments. And then at that last second, he gives it that karate kick. Little did he know that his first acquaintance in Southern California would be behind that gate. Freddy freaking Fernandez behind that gate. The gate hits him. He goes uh, falling to the ground. Daniel's in shock. He helps him up. And lo and behold, he meets his first friend in uh, Southern Cal. I identify with Daniel on so many different levels because... When I was a young kid growing up, fourth grade, when this movie came out in 1984, Daniel rolls up in front of that apartment and he's wearing that blue tank top. Well, it just so happened that at that time, I also had a blue tank top that was one of my favorites. Daniel starts taking his bicycle off of the top of the station wagon and that uh, blue trimmed chrome BMX bicycle, I had one virtually identical to it. It was the favorite thing that I owned in my entire childhood. I loved that bike. And then, this might sound a little funny, but uh, Daniel and I even kind of shared the same haircut back in 84. Uh, that was a pretty popular cut back in the day. So anyway, he makes friends with Freddy Fernandez. They're walking along the pathway. He's helping him with his luggage. He's asking him about karate and where he's from and what he's doing out here. And Daniel is taken by the pool, the pool that his mom talked about a hundred times. He's looking at it and he says, hey, is this the only pool that you got here? And Freddie looks at it and he says, yep, that's it. But the pool is virtually empty and what little water is in there is green due to algae and just not a pretty picture. So they proceed to the stairway where they find a little old lady sitting there doing her crossword puzzle, smoking a cigarette with her little dog. And she says under her breath, you should go back to New Jersey. And Daniel stops and says, how did you know I was from Jersey? 
She goes, I'm from Jersey. I got a nose for my own. And he goes, well, what part? She says, Parsippany. Parsippany? She goes, I never should have left. And Daniel says, I got an Uncle Louie from Parsippany. And she goes, Louis Fartini? No, Louis LaRusso. Louis LaRusso? Yeah. Don't know him. <laughs> and so Daniel pets the little pup. Says, how you doing, pup? You thirsty? And meanwhile, Freddie Fernandez is trying to get his attention. And he's saying, she's crazy. And he's like, what? She's crazy. She ain't playing with a full deck, man. And he's like, ah, she's nice. So uh, Freddie Fernandez, as he's helping Daniel with his bicycle up the stairs, says, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? He goes, tomorrow? I guess nothing. He says, well, we're having a beach party. Sort of, a, sort of a, an adios to summer. He goes, you want to come? And Daniel's like, yeah, that's cool. I'll go. He goes, okay, cool. Well, this is your apartment, apartment 20. And uh, he's, I'll pick you up tomorrow morning. All right, cool, shake hands. And lo and behold, Daniel has made a friend in Southern California. Now, how true of a friend Freddy Fernandez would be is still yet to be determined. So Daniel goes into the apartment, has this little banter with his mom about uh, if, if she told the old lady downstairs where they were from. And she said, yeah, doesn't, it, doesn't she remind you of our Aunt Tilly? <laughs> And he goes, Aunt Tilly, more like Uncle Louie. So uh, I get a kick out of this because Lucille brought a half-empty box into the apartment. She's already starting to take her knickknacks out and put them on the shelf. Never mind that her car is unlocked on the curb with all the rest of their belongings. But uh, she's starting to get situated. She's saying, Daniel, I've got a good feeling about this. I just know that this is going to work. Daniel starts getting water. The faucet's broken. So uh, Lucille says, hey... The real estate lady said there was a fix-it guy around here. Why don't you see if you can find him? So uh, Daniel takes the water outside. His mom is like, what is that for? And he's like, it's for Uncle Louie's dog. Oh, he's cute. And he says, Mom, I got invited to a party tomorrow. And she says, that's good. You see? And he said, well, I thought you wanted me to help you unpack. And she's like, I don't remember saying anything like that. And Daniel says, or I must have had you mixed up with somebody else. Thanks, Mom. So he goes outside. He uh, gives Uncle Louie's dog the water, and he asks that lady, hey, is there a maintenance man around here? Or she says, yeah. Go in through there. Go left, then go right, not too far. Go inside. You'll find him inside on the left. So he goes right, then left. She goes, no, left, then right, inside, and you'll find him. So Daniel starts walking through this hallway which we also were able to see during our 2013 pilgrimage, as you will see in these pictures. But he turns to the right, he sees the doorway to the maintenance man's work shed. He goes inside, knocking on the door, saying hello, and there we see Mr. Miyagi. Back turned to Daniel, bandana on, chopstick in hand, concentrating, trying to catch the fly in the chopstick. That will make much more sense in the movie later. But Daniel says, hey, we're the new part people in apartment 20. Our faucet's really leaking there as he walks in. But as he walks through the door, Pat Morita, as Mr. Miyagi, does that famous turn. And he mad dogs daniel son. Daniel backs up realizing that he's not welcome in this workshop. And he says, well, can I tell my mom when you're going to fix it? And he's like, hi, well, when are you going to come fix it? After. After what? After, after. Daniel, a little betwixt, he leaves and uh, he goes back to the apartment. But that's our introduction to the iconic Mr. Miyagi. As you can see in these pics, the work shed was actually a prop that they had built for the movie. They actually took the first two parking spaces and they converted them into a workshop for the South Sea Apartments maintenance man. And this would be September 10th, 1983, in the story, 1984's Karate Kid. Again, today is September 10th, 2017. Our uh, prayers are going out to the people of uh, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, as uh, Hurricane Irma approaches. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. Why don't you leave me a comment? I'd love to read it and respond to it. 
If you really liked it, go ahead and share it. And last but not least, if you haven't already, be sure that you subscribe to this channel for more of my videos plus this series, Karate Kid Season 2017. A new video for each day that was featured in the movie. Hashtag Karate Kid Timeline. Hashtag Karate Kid Season. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Rob G out. Oh, no. Nothing's going on.